Let's continue on with the panel now with Oliver Peterson joining us in Perth and Koshigata in Melbourne. Uh, guys, uh, gee, uh, Philip Lowe, for a bloke who uh, didn't, doesn't seem to know much about where interest rates are going, he gets a lot of publicity these days. Yesterday, this advice about how, as a nation, we need to deal with the housing crisis, you know, uh, certainly ruffled a few feathers. Have a look. They yeah, do spend. need people to economise on, on housing, don't they? Mm. Kids don't move out of home because the rent's too expensive or you decide to get a flatmate mm. uh, or a housemate. Because it's, so that's, that's the price mechanism at work. Oliver, he's, he's stating the bleeding obvious. That is, we have so much real estate in this, mm. house, in this country that's underutilised because we, families are smaller and people split up more often. There's a lot more single-person uh, units a, a, and the like. But I don't think people like hearing it from him. No, they do not, Chris. That's the problem. I think Australians have stopped listening to the Reserve Bank Governor. But he makes the point. He's giving everybody a reality check here, uh, particularly if you're younger and you know, you're in a share house situation or you do have a spare room, you could rent it out you know, to somebody else living in the property. Obviously, it's a little bit ho you know, harder if you're, uh, if you're older. Maybe the kids have moved out of home and you haven't decided to downsize. I think that's what we need to do in the country, Chris, is to really help older Australians who want to downsize make that a little easier with you know, tax breaks if they, you know, stamp duty policies in different states are something that's holding people back from wanting to downsize. So let's come up with solutions here, which is creating enough opportunity for people to, to move between homes. That's part of the problem. But he is right that there is probably enough properties in the country, although no one wants to talk about immigration again here, Chris, because we're going to increase the population by about 2% this year. We're not going to increase the housing stock in Australia by 2%. So there's a lag, there's a problem. It's only going to be exacerbated. Rent will keep going up, house prices will keep going up and what do we do? Yeah, it's a big problem, isn't it, Kosher, on so many levels? Yes, and nothing warms the heart more than uh, hearing the RBA chief talk about pricing mechanisms and <laughs> tightening your belt to you know, downsize the way and that you live. Rates. I think that's why he's copping a lot of flack there. <laughs> Look, people will do that because you know, we have to do it, but uh, it doesn't absolve him and, and really more broadly the, the governing class from their role in what has led to this. And you know, we've talked about this many times, the uh, ratio of first home ownership or rental prices relative to median household income is completely out of whack. 30 to 40 years ago, it was a three to four X median income. Now it's nine to 12. There are structural reasons for that uh, with the way the economy has been handled or mismanaged, I would say, in many ways. Um, and immigration, as uh, Oliver mentioned, is a big part of that too, where you keep pumping in the demand for housing and not having uh, the supply meet that. So all of those things are still there. And yeah, you know, people will tighten their belts and downsize how they live. But I, I think the reason why there's so much anger towards comments like this is because of the structural issues and just the way the country has been handled, not just here, but really all around the Western sphere for the last three to four decades. I gave the Reserve Bank governors a bit of a try, his theory, a trial run last night. We had a couple of people stay over in our spare room and, uh, yeah, it went all right. I, I, was a bit of, I was a bit of a barista in the morning <laughs> looking after everyone, but it worked all right. Don't know whether it'd be good uh, 27 days a week, though.